What if one metric could predict whether your digital transformation project will explode or fizzle? Stick around because at the end of this video, you will have that metric and the exact roadmap to hit it. Success is silence. That's how systems integrator Dylan Dufresne measures victory. Fewer support calls means bigger wins. Today, I'm handing you that exact playbook to earn that silence. Whether you work for a manufacturer or you're a system integrator, we will tackle three phases that you will encounter on your digital transformation journey. Stage one, crawl. Stage two, walk. And finally, stage three, sprint. For each phase, you will see the exact number one roadblock and the concrete play to smash through it. Hit the like button now so you can find this video again and let's dive in. Stage one, crawl. Digital transformation is a strategy, not a project. Think of it as a GPS route, not a quick pit stop. You must have the strategy fully mapped out before you face the roadblocks ahead. The first roadblock is disbelief. Nobody feels the pain yet. Internal stakeholders aren't responding to your requests. When you first meet with your internal stakeholders, use the first meeting five. Ask these five questions to set the precedent and set the stage for your digital transformation proof of concept. Number one, where are we at now? Number two, where do we wanna go? Number three, where should we go? Number four, what problems are we aware of today? And number five, what problems are we not yet aware of that we have? Run a micro proof of concept on the loudest pain point the goal should be to show the real cost of production in dollars and time. Use an objective metric like OEE or just simple machine state availability. Win the results war and you'll be surprised at how quickly the disbelief flips into evangelists. But first, a quick shout out to today's sponsor, Siemens, the folks behind Somatic WinCC Open Architecture. If you still think of WinCC as just SCADA, well buckle up. WinCCOA is a full-blown IIoT platform built for the biggest, baddest, and most connected facilities on the planet. It's vendor and platform agnostic, so you can layer it over whatever PLC, Edge, Box, or Cloud Stack you're already running. We're talking high-performance, distributed networking that scales from a single-edge device all the way to a multi-site global rollout. Unlimited clients, unlimited tags, web, iOS, Android, you name it. Security, WinCCOA's got it locked down. And because it's object-oriented at the core, you engineer once and reuse everywhere, cutting your deployment time while future-proofing your stack for edge analytics, AI, and anything Industry 4.0 can throw at you. Bottom line, if you want a control layer that's as ambitious as your digital transformation roadmap, check out Siemens WinCCOA. There's a link in the description and tell them 4.0 Solutions sent you. Now back to the video. Next, I will reveal the biggest mistake teams make when they start the walk stage and how the unified namespace is the solution. Stage two, walk. Your proof of concept works, but politics begin to surface. Quality department asks if you can speak their language or connect to their equipment. IT departments lock down your firewall and you're stuck in a security and compliance mode instead of service enablement mode. The cure is a unified namespace. One source of truth for every data point in the business. It's both the structure of your business and the river of live events that flow from them. Every smart node publishes data once and subscribes to the information it needs. Using this hub and spoke architecture, the operations, quality, and IT each begin to see their own slice and no one battles over point-to-point -point handshakes. This is a major shift away from the siloed mindset. Publish once and consume everywhere. Your turf wars dissolve into collaboration. If you wanna learn more about the unified namespace, check out this video here. Which data point will you push first into your unified namespace? Drop your answer in the comments below and then hit play. Stage three, sprint. Your organization has learned to crawl and understands that digital transformation is groundbreaking innovation and not continuous improvement. You have scored your first win and you've begun scaling with the unified namespace principles. And now you're rolling out enterprise wide and speed can either make or break you. Your new enemy is namespace sprawl. Citizen developers across the company are building information models and nothing is standardized. Enter in the red and blue governance framework. Red models are mandatory enterprise standards. Blue models are local experiments. Once a year during your disaster recovery test, audit every standard. Promote valuable blue models to red and retire stale red models. And remember your data modeling platform should support both red and blue models together. Quick tip, keep Sparkplug B at the side or edge layer below 
and use flat MQTT as you move up towards the cloud. A lightweight regex service scans every topic and flags anything that breaks your red namespace schema, keeping governance tight without heavyweight overhead or the need for third-party tools. If you want us to go into depth with more data modeling tools that can do this for you, let us know in the comments. And last but not least, remain agile. As collective knowledge grows, demand on your digital transformation team skyrockets. Adopt agile project management and deliver new features in iterative sprints, so you can adapt easily to incoming changes. Measure sprint success with two questions. How many intelligent questions does the business ask itself each month? And two, how many blue models were promoted to red this quarter? More questions and more promotions means your flywheel is beginning to spin. If you learned something today, tap the thumbs up. Share your biggest roadblock in the comments. Grab the free IIoT mini course and join our Industry 4.0 community discord. Together we save and create middle class jobs by helping manufacturers do more with less. I'm Zach Scriven with 4.0 Solutions. Thanks for watching.